www.firefest.org. All right, this is your boy T, and y'all are now tuning in to the Problematic Podcast for the best bad advice on the planet. Uh, yeah, uh, this is Mr. Riff Raff, Dale D'Antoni, the Pastel Prince, and you're listening to The Problem Attic, the worst advice show ever. Dan Shreen. Outstanding. Outstanding. I prefer in sitting myself. That's just me. You know, I'm an old school guy. I'm an old school guy and I've got nine wives. That's how old school I am. I'm talking about the 50s, baby. The year 50, baby. <laughs> The year zero zero five zero, baby. I'm talking caveman, baby. <laughs> I live in a cave, man. You understand what I'm saying? Yikes. Can you imagine a worse world? Everybody's homeless. <laughs> Dude, if I went back to the caveman times, That would be my first takeaway is literally like, guys, we are all homeless. (laughs) What is going on here, dude? Let's get inside. And they would say, (laughs) and then I would, I I don't know, dude. I don't know what I would do. I'd, I'd probably set the then world record certainly but i'm sure it would stand even through to this day for how quickly i would kill myself <laughs> i'd be oh, oh okay yeah you guys don't know you don't know a thing you don't know one thing and you're i'm supposed to be helping you guys help me invent uh, you know ac you don't know one thing What's the capital of Montana, you dummy? Nothing. You got nothing, this guy. <laughs> oh, you can't get dumber than a caveman. You just can't do it. They are not, they are not, you know, gifted in any way. Unless you're a huge fan of banging on rocks with your bare fist <laughs> then in that case you come to the right place oh man our ancestors thanks for nothing thanks for nothing dude we literally have nothing we still use from you guys the paleo diet? Bah, get out of here, dude. That diet stinks on ice. Which they would know a lot about. Stinking on ice. They probably poop on frozen lakes. They're so dumb. They are so dumb. And I, I hope there's none, no, you know, cave people listening. Which I, I'm told they prefer cave people. If they if there's any cave people listening, look, I'm sorry. It is what it is. And I'm not going to apologize. Cavers. You stinky cavers. Literally stinking, stinking, stinking cavers. Hey, have you guys ever heard of a shower? <laughs> great. Great. Good talk. Nice talking with you. Nothing. They contribute nothing. Therefore, they earn nothing. What was their currency even, dude? Twigs, sticks, berries. (laughs) Do you know how many frozen berries I have right now in my freezer? It's ridiculous. I have an antioxidant blend. With like pomegranate seeds and shit. 
<laughs> I mean, you think a cave person knows what to do with that? I'm sorry. Look, I I was I I promised myself I wouldn't go political. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you just got to tell the truth. You know, in comedy, that's what it's all about. My idols. Dennis Miller, right? Bill Maher. Okay? Um George Carlin. Famously, just at the like no matter Who's going to be made uncomfortable or just generally bummed out? I, it is my duty to tell it like it is. And I will never back down. You hear me? You will have to pry this microphone. When I die, assuming I'm going to die with a microphone in my hand, you will need to take it from me. Just that's how burial works, dude. From my cold, dead hands. Unless you are planning on burying me with it. That's like not a tough thing to say, dude. You're going to have to pry it from my cold, dead hands. Yeah. First of all, number one, that's not going to be hard. You're going to be dead, dude. You're going to be a dead man. (laughs) So it's not going to be a difficult task. Number two, that's how everything works. If I die brushing my teeth, you're going to have to pry my toothbrush out of my cold dead hands oh, tough guys make me sick looking at you cavers anyway yeah I appreciate this guys letting me have my little you know anyways uh, I should mention uh, the new website www.firefest.org f-y-r-e F-E-S-T, just like the Firefest. Firefest.org, we got it. We're in there. You know. Also, let me know if you would appreciate episodes where it's just me, you know, ranting like a lunatic like this. Uh, then I'd be happy to do that. That's very easy for me. This is what goes on, right? When nobody's here and it's just me in the mirror. Be like, they don't get you, man. They don't get you. Anyway, I hope that doesn't take away from from this outstanding episode. Uh, I'm happy to call this person a friend of mine. You know, I think we could say that we're friends. We're buddies now. That's my guy. Uh, Anyway, enjoy this episode with the very funny Ralph Barba. Oh, Cliff Barbers. Oh yeah, that's right. Sponsor the pod, Oakland Barbers. Yeah, um, give us money. Give us money. We and this is also very some. This I'm very proud of this. We've got sponsors now. Hell yeah. Okay. So I already did my read before you got here. Would you mind doing a read for one of the sponsors? I don't mind at all. Okay. Now this was a problem last time. It was George Anthony. I don't know if you know who that is. I. I yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. probably cut this out. Hispanic dude. Yep. Yeah. He made a mockery. All right. Hey, also, uh, can you cut out bits and pieces about the story I told you about my cousin? Yeah, let's cut all that out. <laughs> let's cut. I want to cut out. all the, the shit I said too. Yeah. Don't. I don't. Yeah. That'll be just for us. Yeah, that'll be just for us. Yeah. Oh, you you were oversharing, so I was like, I'm gonna overshare. Looking but, back on it, I was like, I shouldn't have said that. You know what? Let's open the pod. You know what? <laughs> let's leave this part in. Let's leave this part in where we say, I'm gonna let y'all know we said some shit. Very real. Too yeah, real. Because I'm feeling like, ah, nah, this dude gets it. Like, I can, I can, I can. Talk. Likewise. But then it's like, but this is also a podcast. So, like, I can't just tell everybody about it's this. true. Like, I don't have a problem talking about it with Zach I and know. Patrick. But then I'm like, but wait a minute. Yeah. It's so, a broadcast. If, you, if there's a part in this podcast where you're like, wait, what happened? Did it jump? Just know it's because we had to cut some stuff out. Also, if you thought I was going to leave that in, even when I was saying it, I was like, I'm not going to leave this in. There's nah, no yeah. way. He's like, nah, yeah. No, this is why I put in all those details. <laughs> I was like, this is not good. All right, so we're going to start the brand new podcast. We're not going to do Don't worry. No, it's not going to be long. Uh, and uh, this is finally, the we lost an ad. We lost a sponsor last week. Oh, man. Because of, and I don't have a problem saying this, George Anthony making a mockery. I would like to invoice him. Come on. Come for on. losing that. Come on, So George. just, you know, uh, I did mine very respectful. Uh, if you, you know, just whatever. Yeah. So here your, we go. Here's businesses. the ad number one. All right. 
Hey Siri, call the cops. This is not a joke. I need to lodge a complaint with the entire fashion industry. I'm sick and goddamn tired of people hating on and making fun of cargo shorts. All right, so there's you're laughing a little bit and just kind of take it down. It's very serious, okay? Okay. All right. Ask yourself, why do they hate storage? Why do they want us to keep our hands filled up to the top with junk? There's no there's no way to carry any everything. What would a builder be without his tools? I know I can't laugh, and I'm not laughing. At, <laughs> no, this like, is very serious. This is a very serious ad. Who, all right, let me just ask: Who typed this? Uh, they did. They sent it over. Okay. All right. Was there typos? Huh? Oh, I'm not gonna say. Okay. Who? Who? What company is this? They're gonna. They're probably gonna say it in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're laughing already. <laughs> is, this Dude. Like, is this how George Anthony lost it? Yeah, but he left. I mean, yeah, yeah. This is very okay. So let's go. Okay, what would a builder be without his tools? If only there was someone to stand up for us. Well, the good folks at Batman Brand Cargo Pants are here to fight that injustice. Just as Batman has his utility belt, we believe in the power of pouches. We are fed up with judgment. Before the Queer Eye show, we happily wore our practical and stylish cargo pants after we have been shamed and made to hide our cargoes deep in the closet. We want to break you out of the closet to proudly chant, Let's go, cargo, get used to it. Live unshamed, live prepared. Bring everything with you, just like Batman would. It's Batman brand cargo pants. Batman brand cargo pants. Who made who made this? Who made Batman brand cargo pants? Uh, it's a fella. It's a guy. Are you the guy? No, it's a guy named Bruce. I think. Are you the guy named Bruce? No. Is Why? A guy named Bruce who made Batman. Do you not think they're real? I just feel like he's gonna this get into some trouble I'm... with the licensing or the copyright or whatever you call it. Well, that's not our problem. That's for the. Also, this was the problem last time. People were like, "Oh, did, I mean, who's writing these? Did, did Zach do it?" No, I want to get that out there. This is these are serious companies. <laughs> what, <laughs> Ralph? What the fuck, dude? Are you serious? You're a, you're a funny guy. This is the thing is like I don't know if I can take you serious or not. Well, you don't got to take me seriously as long as you take the good folks over I, there, at Batman, 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 Batman Cargo Pants. Seriously. How did you meet these guys? Uh, work. What? Were they just like, hey, what's up? You do a podcast, right? We do cargo pants. Let's work together. Yeah, they were. It was at REI. What is REI? It's uh, well, it's like an academy furniture or academy uh, sports. Okay. It was in the, yeah. Academy. I was R- in the camping section as a bit, as a joke. Oh. I was there and they were like, you look like a guy who can sell cargo shorts. Yeah. Or pants, specifically pants, pants, I believe. I don't think they dabble in the shorts. Um, I don't know, man. I I just want I just okay. Well, there's I, want I them, mean I want, sponsor number two down the drain. I want them to be okay. There they won't be. I just feel I like mean, they're gonna be in trouble with this Batman brand cargo pants. I, I feel like I I mean I can't I can't <laughs> buy a good sponsor read over here, dude. <laughs> what the hell's going on? I thought they had a good point about Queer Eye coming in, making everybody against cargo pants. Look, man, all I'm all I'm gonna say is, if you rock cargo pants, you better have like a outdoor job. Like, don't don't like just, but or you could be anybody who just like storage. What if you're a guy? I can't, Ralph. I can't who rocks you're cargo this. pants. You <laughs> better have some kids on you or work an outdoor job because if you're just out there, this is on my computer. Just like. Wearing cargo pants, but you're single, and you don't ha- and you don't have to fucking just carry shit around, and you're just like, huh? What can I put in these cargo pants to fill them up? Like, or if you just like stylish, preparedness clothing, I can't believe you're doing this. Everybody, this is I. I mean, that goes. To, you can't get comics to do this. They will make. They will. They will not be serious. They'll make a mockery of something I'm trying to do. Ah, so it is you. You created. No, I'm trying to have. I'm trying to have. <laughs> I'm trying to have ads. You're trying to, I don't. All right, here's another thing. Okay, you can't blame the comics. Like, 
Carrie? That's not how you spell Carrie. Oh, let me see. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> let me see which one. <laughs> okay, Walt. <laughs> Some of these questions ended with, with periods. They're, yeah. They're sentences. Whoa, 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 that's... I'll have to take it up with them. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You you do that. You take this. T- I mean, why would it call their call their corporate line? I will. <laughs> Wait on hold. I'll send out the bad signal. Mail them. Bad. Um. Yep. That's that's bad. You know. I'll I'll tell them about. Them. I mean, but they're not going to take my call anyway. This is this is all gone left. This is all done. This is all okay. I I understand you now, George Anthony. What? <laughs> what? I can't, you're a dude. You're you're fucking. Oh, you're the ops. Now you have to sponsor the pod. You guys have to sponsor the pod. No way, man. I drove here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Now I gotta pay to be here. <laughs> no, you don't gotta pay. Just in spirit. Yo, let's get some Patreons. Yeah, let's, let's get Patreons. With, how, does, how does that work? I don't know. I do OnlyFans. Ah, instead. That's kind of like Patreons, right? It's Patreon, except for if you, um, you know. Is is Patreons just like when people subscribe to your thing, or is Patreons like an app where people subscribe to your like podcast or whatever? Uh, I think it just like puts things behind a paywall. But it's like a website, like an app, like it's called. I Patreons, think it's both. Or do you just, or do you just call people who subscribe Patreons? Those are. Uh, it's called Patreon. Patreon. Yeah, which sounds like a defensive backs name. Yeah, that sounds like a free safety. Yeah, Patreon. It sounds like. Like like some like in the future, people don't want to say patriots anymore, so they say Patreon because it's like, it's like, hey, hey, let's just say Patreon. Like it's <laughs> oh, like patriots. What are we, Paul Revere? Like let's just say Patreon. Nice. It's the new Latinx. Yeah, Latinx. With the X, Latin X. Damn, that was a good rebrand though. I, uh, that was a fire. Just put an X in it. Uh, I say start it with an X. I guess like Zatin. I don't get. I don't. I don't. I don't understand a lot of the things sometimes because they're like. It's Latin X now. Like you don't say Latino or Russia is like, I'm just not going to call anybody anything. That's true. It's call. very easy not to bring it up. Yeah. I'm just going to call people by their name. That's learn their name. Yeah. Has That's anybody true. thought of that pronoun guys and gals yeah. or pronoun them? You know, I, I respect whatever uh, pronoun is mm-hmm. yours. Yep. Rightfully to be safe. I'm just be like, yo, or I don't want to say a or Hey, I feel like yo is, is still kind of, it could be disrespectful okay. in the wrong context, but it's okay. a little better than like, hey, or like, hey, like, I, I feel like that's yeah. pretty disrespectful. I'll be like, or, or just that, the silent, like, nod with the hand up, like. <laughs> that's what it's going to be, just everybody, just a world full of people being like, I'm very sorry. I miss handshakes. I like, I like handshakes. I feel like that's very like, hey, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. Like, yeah. A and, good hearty. Yeah. I even like, like the, like, you know, a little, little hug, like yeah. a little half a hug, like, nice. Like yeah. we're, we're all people. We all have compassion. I, I'm a hugger. Are you a hugger? I'm a hugger. Yeah, I love it. It's so good. Uh, but I'm not going to lie. Like, uh, I feel like maybe I feel like kind of mean. But there are some times with some people where I'm just like, man, I don't want to hug that guy. Yeah. It's this weird. guy stinks. Yeah. Or Literally. Like, or like, man, I just, I don't I don't know if we're we're cool. Maybe if I talk to him for a few minutes. But until then, I'm like. Oh yeah, right away hugging's weird. Right away, that's a weird move. Yeah, yeah that's a white guy move. You think so? Big time. White guy at a bar you just met. If he's already <laughs> half hammered, <laughs> like, oh, who's this guy? What's your name? Oh, come here, dude. <laughs> that's a white guy move. I, I like when um when like I'll, I'll meet somebody at a show or wherever, right? Yeah, be like a white dude, and they bring up like me being Mexican, like within the first couple sentences. <laughs> like, come on man like i fucking love mexicans whoa right away yeah but honestly i like it like fucking be straightforward with your thoughts you know what i mean like but that, do you think... that that tells me you probably didn't hang out with too many mexicans growing up but you're not racist either and, and you're excited about that yeah and some people might see it as racist but honestly like i don't care like i am fucking mexican like and if you <laughs> like true. it like good like you know what i mean like <laughs> that's true it's like somebody going to me like man i love fat guys Great. Yeah. Like happy to be here. Yeah. At like, your service. Yeah. Well, cool. maybe not that, but nah, if you if you make the whole conversation about that, then I'm like, all right, this is getting kind of weird. He's yeah. pointing. You know how you guys 
You're yeah. always doing that. You like tacos? Tacos are cool, right? Like, you know, like don't like don't do <laughs> that. The the, hackiest, yeah, dude. like don't do that the whole time. But like, if you just bring it up real quick, like I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, you know, it's uh, this sounds like a problem you may have. I told you I was going to ask you. Do you have a problem you'd like to discuss here at the problematic? Man, I did, but I'm gonna have to change it. it could, oh, could cause more problems later. Ooh, will you tell me off the pod? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Problem I'm having right now is social media. In in what capacity? Um in a in a few it's coming it's like a problem that goes in a few different angles. One, I feel like I waste a lot of time scrolling. Right? Okay. That's the first, like, that's the easy one. It's oh. like, damn, like So I tried to like quit it. I was like, yo, guys, don't take a break. And I don't like that everybody's like, hey, do you need to do this for you? I'm like, no. Like, like it's not like a mental health thing. Like, I get some people go through their thing, but, it, like, I just, like, it's making me unproductive as shit. Oh, okay. You know? Another one is, uh, like, you can't, like, it's true what they say, man. You can't post something without pissing somebody off now. Okay, like a joke or not? I, I, not even just that. Like, and I get it. Like, it's COVID. These are dangerous times. But like, so you'll post that you're at some spot, and it'll be like, maybe some people see that as crowded. Maybe some people don't see it as crowded. So you like never know. But somebody's always like, "Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Oh, right now? Are you gonna be there?" Yeah. And then like they unfollow you, and it's like, all right, whatever. Or like, um, another thing I don't like about going on social media is like you go on there. And, you know, like the, the the higher ups in comedy will always advise you, like, you know, market yourself, network, yeah. put fucking post a show, like get followers because that's what. And yeah, like fucking definitely. Right. But sometimes like that, it's, it's kind of hard to get motivated to say something. One, because it's like, oh, I got to get creative and say something that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But another thing is like, I just saw this fucking post like this person got beat up this person got killed or like this and it's like this is fucking weird like it feel weird oh yeah you know imagine you walk like uh like at the what do they used to like at the colleges and community colleges they got those boards yeah the bulletin boards yeah yeah like everybody has their shit right yeah and it's like hey yeah i'm looking for a roommate hey we got this party going on hey there's an event center thing for charity right yeah imagine a bulletin board but they're like hey there's a charity thing going on hey uh, there's a party going on. Hey, six kids just got murdered over here. And he's like, whoa, like, whoa, I don't want to post something next to that now. Yeah, it's a bullet. You know bullets I mean? like, inboard. Yeah. And it's like, oh, like, I just feel like social media is just like a lot of bad news and and cool people. And it kind of. I don't know. It kind of, it kind of just feels like. Why is this person going to post their ass shaking or their car that they just bought and then this other person gonna post about this murder and it's just like too much information yeah it's an overload it's an overload it's way too much info you ever been talking to somebody and you had a group it's like you and 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 a bunch of people and you might know some of them but then some of them are like mutual friends so you get to know each other yeah and then somebody just overshares yeah like too many details and it gets kind of awkward yeah that's what i feel like every time i'm scrolling through social media i don't know i can't scroll for more than like Three or four little like, like scrolls, scrolls or whatever. Yeah, yeah. What, what can we call those? Flips, flips. Your little you like we're doing. If, for those of you only listening, we're doing slides, that. little slides, yeah. whatever you call it. It's just like damn, dude. Like just, it's just like too much. I'm not saying like, hey, stop showing off because people are dying, or like, hey, stop posting your dead people because people are trying to show off. Like, yeah, it's just. I'm it's, very it's, glad you're not doing that. That would yeah, be a like, wild move. <laughs> I don't think one or like it should it shouldn't be one or the other. Like yeah, yeah we information is good. Right? Like Yes, that's true. I'm just saying I personally don't feel like I can handle it all the time. So I gotta like take my social media in little spurts. Okay. Maybe get on, watch a few like if I open Instagram, I'll watch like the first three little stories and then yeah. I'll stop and then like an hour later I'll watch another few stories. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like I don't even get on Snapchat anymore. Facebook, I like getting on that one. There's a lot of drama. I like yeah, especially comedy drama. Hell yeah! Oh, it's the best. Especially like oh, uh, this season of Houston Comics. 
<laughs> pretty good. No, <laughs> it's a good season. <laughs> this season of, dude, the Dallas comics right now. My buddy David Diaz. Shout out to David Diaz. I fucking love this guy to death. He's like the funniest person on Facebook. Yeah, and he has like haters. Some people hate that people say that about him, but he's just like I got a vault. I got a yeah. Yeah, he's gotta just like himself, and it's funny. You know, yeah. what I mean? uh, he's not like cracking jokes. He's not like oh fuck, I wish I would have thought of that. It's like, yeah. uh, you know, when people were making those little jokes, they were like, if you did this as a kid. You're immune to COVID. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. He 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 posted today. He and it's like he's like, if you got the COVID nineteen vaccine, you're immune to COVID nineteen. And it's like the it's like a bars. dumb joke, but it's just like fucking That's like bars, obviously, dude. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's funny. I love that. That's your Albert De Leon. We got yeah. a guy like that. So he posts that, and this is the part where it's like, oh my fucking god! Like, are you serious? Like, but it's entertaining to watch. A handful of comics are like. Actually, that's not even a vaccine. Like yeah. it's just it, you're all test dummies, and this is going on. And- oh no! <laughs> this dude, I'm not gonna say his name, but <laughs> he comments five paragraphs. Oh no! <laughs> no, that's something. That's something that that we need to take up with the app. I'm gonna say his name is Cody Odell. Why'd you do that, Cody oh, Odell? Oh, you, you know Cody Odell. <laughs> yeah, you know Cody, Cody Odell, certified op. <laughs> I was like it's a joke. I don't fuck dude. with Cody Odell at all, dude. Cody Odell, like it's. I, I ran into him <laughs> last night. He's like, "Hey, what's up, man? I'm like, hey, good to see you." And then this morning, I see. I'm like, "What are you doing, man?" Like, oh, dude. <laughs> he wrote five paragraphs, <laughs> and they're just all like, "Like, actually, it's not even a vaccine. It's." I didn't even read it all. And then the last paragraph, he's like, "That's fine with me, though. You guys can continue to be test dummies." He's like, "Me." He's like, I live in the like land of the free, and then in parentheses, it's like not so free or something, some some shit oh, like that. Wow. I could what be a good getting, writer. I could be getting a little wow. wrong. And then uh, the the guy I'm doing shows with right now, Tyler Elliott, fucking hilarious. If you, yeah. If you don't if you don't follow him, just look him up, Tyler Elliott, Facebook, okay. Instagram, super funny man. Uh, he like responds by by copying and pasting the entire five paragraphs <laughs> in like and he puts it in quotes in quotes or in quotations and then he like he like uh he, he posts it but then what is it called when you like where you attribute the quote to yeah. somebody yeah it says like uh some fucking edge lord <laughs> oh, that's good yeah see that's people that approach social media creatively yeah that, and they go, how am i gonna make this funny that yeah. shit was just funny to me and like uh it's just funny seeing people like like it's a fucking dumb joke. David is just making a dumb joke, and everybody's just like, "Hey, actually, you know what? Ugh. This is why you guys are fucking dumb because this isn't and that." And it's like, "Hey, it's a, it's a Facebook joke. He he's not out here like, hey, everybody, give me your essay on this. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, come down. This is due at the end of class. Yeah. Here's the thing: is don't make points. Number one. Yeah. If you're out here making points, stop it. Second of all. What do you do? Don't make a point. Don't even make it on a fucking joke post. Oh, God. What do you want to be, Bill Maher? <laughs> you like, actually, folks, it's, uh, it's funny you say that because... Uh, fuck, shut up. These. So it seems like maybe, worst advice show ever, here's what we're, we're going to do. All right. We need to create a Silly Goose account for you. <laughs> to keep it light all right all right and this could be a character everybody has their own mine is i have a fake stan account of the u.s marines it's uh at fan of the u.s marines.com okay yeah it's very good um but you gotta get you gotta have some fun out there in social media yeah it seems like it's not a lot of fun right now all i'm hearing is there's bad news yeah there's I mean, the, the, there was ass shaking, there's, I heard. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Not there's bad. A, there's a lot of good news, but there's just a lot of bad news. And then it's a job news. of you promoting. Yeah. Like, it's that's that's one of, like, the, like, you see, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's that I know I have to You got to do it. Yeah. And that I, I know this has become a job. And yep. it's like, oh, man. That's the, that's, the, that's the problem every funny person has is yeah. promoting. And being like, how am I going to be creative about this? Because it sucks and it's not funny. Yeah. Right? And then, and then some sometimes there's a comedy flyer, and it's just like, why did they get that picture off my Facebook from like 2016? Oh. Like, why don't you just ask me for a picture? Oh man! And they're like, hey man, promote it, promote it. And I'm like, I am, but like, I'm trying to show these people 
like that I'm out here trying to do these shows and what they're seeing is and I'm not ashamed of it being like a mid level show. Like I'm I'm so, I'm I'm yeah. very much bottom floor, right? Yeah. But don't make it seem like you make these posters that make it seem like I'm performing in somebody's like backyard quinceañera or something. Yeah, it's like a selfie. Yeah, like I'm like, what are you doing? Like, come on, man, communicate with me. Are you in the Facebook group Bad Comedy Flyers? Yeah, that was funny. That's the best thing I ever did. Is I, I made that group. You me, made that group. Yeah, me Dude. and Chase, my buddy Chase. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's like the only that. that's the only good thing I ever did. That was so, social media. But you have to do fun shit. That you is have fun. to do silly goose shit. Yeah. Who's somebody you hate? Who's a group of people or a person <laughs> that you hate? You can't just start off questions like no, that. No, come hey, on. Who, who's let, a group of people you hate? <laughs> well, like, like you let we get, you get into a little bit of like trolling. You can do some trolling. I I have wanted to troll more. I feel like you I'm can, very. You gotta troll, even if you never tell me about it. You never tell a soul about it. You gotta get out there. You gotta get loose. You gotta get loose. Or else, it's troll. if it's only work and bad news the whole time, you're gonna go nuts. It's, yeah. Where's where's Ralph's fun here? That's true. I guess I just never saw it like as fun anymore. I was just oh, like, yeah. But you're creative enough. You're funny enough. He can be fun. Yeah. Be a silly goose. I gotta troll people. You gotta. Well, yep. Who should I troll? I never thought about it. Yep. Oh man, here's a funny one. I I, I was kind of trolling okay. this guy, but it was through my my buddy's account. So I guess he was like, so there's a my buddy that does the videos for nightclubs, right? He was yeah. running JG. Yeah. Uh. Fuck, nah, I shouldn't have said his name. Ah, fuck it, who cares? Well, we can clip but, it out. They're, nah, they're, they're just going to think I said a slur. Nah, it's okay. It's, it's JG. Boop. It's JG, right? JG. He's cool, man. And um, what I won't say is the name of the club, right? Okay. He works for a few different clubs. Okay. And he's not in, I wouldn't say he's like in charge of their social media, but he does have access to it when he has to upload things for them, right? Yeah. So they basically wanted him to handle this fucking weird ass guy that was like trolling them. So this guy would show up to the club, and he would be like, "Yeah, I want to, I want to talk to the owner, you know." And and he's like, "Cause I want to buy this place." And he uh, as a joke? Yeah, no, like I think he was for real. This guy's oh, like off in the wow. head. Like, like oh, I think he grew up like super only child. Maybe he was raised like on a farm by like. <laughs> oh, night nice. homeschooled. Do you mean homeschooled? I don't even think they schooled him. <laughs> He's just home. He's just weird. He's just this weird guy who would wear like one really expensive. Like Gucci or Versace jacket, like Whoa. every fucking weekend or some shit, right? Like tough ooh, look. Probably has money. I'm not gonna lie, but he's just he's weird. He's yeah. off, right? And uh, so one time, my buddy, he's on um, the the social media account, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, check it out. I just uploaded this." And then he's like, "Oh man, check out this guy who keeps messaging the the profile because he thinks the owner of the club runs it." Oh, nice. Right. So this I, is what. Yeah. Okay. So I. <laughs> I, I, I'm like, let me see the message. And the message is just like, hey, weak ass boy. He's like, uh, sell me the club. He's like, nah, you pussy, right? He's like, you pussy. Sell and he's like, the and then I, and then he's like, I want to talk to the owner. Yeah. I, I don't want to say the owner. Samson. Name, right? Samson. I'm just say Samson. He's like, yeah. I want to talk to Samson. And then I, I'm like, uh, I'm not, I'm not Samson, man. I'm just the guy who runs the page. Right? I started replying. Yeah. And then he's like, he's like, man. He's like, tell him I know him. And then there's this guy who, like, because, you know, they've got a lot of, like, street food out there by the nightclubs. Yeah. He's like, one of the taco men told me where you live. He's like, God on my side, homie. And then I replied. I was like, is he? I was like, is that why? I was like, fuck. I was like, what am I going to do now? <laughs> oh, my God, no. Check me. Yeah. I was like, damn, you really got me on that one. He was like, haha, you pussy, huh? He was like, he's like, I'm going to have the feds in your, in your, uh, in your club. And this I'll, guy is off. Yeah. He's like, 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 you're pussy. I'm going to call the cops. And I'm not I'm not just saying, like, random things he said. Like, this is the order their messages are coming no. in. Do you still have access to this person? Do you no, know who it is? I, I don't, no, I don't. Because this is a few months back. I wanted to call him on social media right now. <laughs> that would be Can tight, you find but, out who he is? No, nah, man. Like, Fuck. Just, All right. But I was just, like, replying to him. I was like, nah, man. I was like, don't call the feds. I was like, I'll give you anything you want. <laughs> like, what do you want from me? He's like, the club, dude. The, <laughs> he's like, I want the club. And I was like... I was like, all right. I was like, you can have it. You have to meet me up right now, though. And and he was just like, I don't know what he was saying. He was like, nah, you won't show because you pussy. And I was like, I was like, do you think that's what it is? I was like, do you think it's because I'm pussy? I was like, but at least I own this club, though. <laughs> and I just like switched it on him. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. He's like, so it is you, right? And I'm like, nah, it's, it's not really him. I was like, I'm telling you, man, I just run the page. And he was like, 
what did you say? Just like, you're working for some fake ass dudes or whatever. I was like, let me join your team. I was like, what do I have to do to join oh, your team? This is good. See? And I just like fuck with them back and forth the whole time. But Dude. then my buddy, then my buddy s- stops me. Do you see how you're glowing right now? <laughs> you're, you're so happy dude <laughs> Let, let's get Ralph out there do some like trolling only people who deserve it real entrepreneurial type <laughs> you know a guy who prints four shirts and is like I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an entrepreneur. that guy there is there is some dudes that are like there's always comics that I want to troll on because they oh. post stuff like man I've only been doing this like a year and a half and my career's already taking off and I'm so blessed and hashtag guys yeah like hashtag this hashtag, about hashtag guys hashtag guys motivational lion picture guys yeah like they have a picture of a lion being like the, the king doesn't <laughs> ask for permission it's like oh you're gonna get canceled dude <laughs> you're gonna get me too bro I uh man this guy was like really cool the first time I met him yeah he, uh and then he like I don't, I don't know, maybe, like, the whole political thing with Trump and stuff. Because he's, like, very pro-Trump. And yeah. everybody in the DFW comedy scene was anti-Trump. Uh, everybody I, in every comedy scene. Right. And is, so, like, yeah. I never I never shared an opinion with anybody because it's like, fuck, fuck the politics. Just yeah. Let me just do some dope, some jokes or whatever. But on, uh, his name is, like, Ray Stone. And when I met him, he was, like, super cool, right? Yeah. But in Facebook arguments with people, it started getting, like, weird where I was like, yo, this dude... What are you doing, Ray? Like, calm, calm down, dude. Right? But it got to the point where I was like laughing at the stuff he would say, and I, and I, uh, I just wanted to show everybody this shit, right? Yeah. Like, uh, because you get into arguments about like race or whatever, and then one time he posts this picture, or he's having like a cookout with people, and there's like a couple black guys in there, and he's like, "Check me out, just hanging out with with my friends. Uh, see how I'm not racist." Whoa! <laughs> Saying he's like I'm oh. hanging out with with c- oh. my color friends. See, I'm not raising. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's like, he's like, see, look, I can go to the cookout. It's like, yeah, because yeah, you threw it, Ray. He's like, how could I be racist when I'm hanging out with my friends? You know? Oh and, my god! And I was just showing people like. Hey, like, check this guy out. He's not racist. Why would he be? He hangs out with colored people, obviously. This like, is proof. And it's like, fuck. Like, next time somebody posts some <laughs> shit like that, I'm going to screenshot and just share it and just put them on blast. Like, dude, you, <laughs> I'm telling you, you're, you're built for trolling. <laughs> you love the game. Do it for the love of the game. Don't even tell anybody. That's just it. make a fun one for yourself. A silly goose Ralph account. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. I'm going to just troll them from my account. Fuck it. Well, yeah, or do that. Face to face. There you go. <laughs> Call him out like I did. Cody Odell. <laughs> now Cody's going to put paragraphs on your Facebook and mine. No, he won't. Like, no, he won't. What the fuck, dude? You think you fuck because you fucking do this? You can fucking do that? Listen, it, that's what that's the power of first impressions. <laughs> the first time I heard about that guy, he was trashing me upstairs. I wasn't there to hear it. And I asked him about it. He said he didn't say anything. That, dude, so, I mean, that's another, that's another reason why I, I'm entertained by, but I'm also like, what the fuck is, um, like, all right. Like if you talk behind somebody's back and it turns into this thing, it's like, all right, man, we'll just fucking tell them like, Hey, what's up? Why are you yeah. saying this shit? Right. Yeah. Just ask him. Well, the, the, the ones that I'm like, all right, this is too far is when there's these huge Facebook arguments over like, uh, who disrespected who at this mic, what is mic etiquette? Oh, and yeah. And it's like, hey, we're a bunch of open micers. Would you calm down? Could have just with your spoke fucking, to like, man. Yeah. Like with your rules and their like hierarchies yeah, like, and like. This is important, god damn it. Like this is not the way the DFW comedy scene should be ran. And <sighs> somebody needs to say this and say that. And then it turns into all these arguments. And shout out to all the people who just goof on those in the comments. Yeah, you that's the I mean? best. Like troll in the comments. That's the best, dude. Yeah. Anybody. Yeah. If you're if you're ever like if you're ever not if you're maybe making like a, a serious face where your eyebrows are like this while you're on Facebook, <laughs> you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Especially if you're supposed to be a comic. Yeah. And you're just on there like I haven't made a point in fucking ten years. Yeah. That's a good point. Stop making points. Oh! <laughs> Is that the I just got body, dude. <laughs> Damn, bro. Damn. All right, so there's the worst worst advice show ever. Troll. The birth of Troll Ralph. Troll Ralph. Troll Ralph, dude. You got to get out there. Get loose. I'm going to just create an account. Start talking about how Lou Boozy was right. (laughs) About a lot of stuff. (laughs)
Yeah, I get why it's called the problem addict. Yeah, bad podcast. Yeah, bad, bad advice. Home of the bad advice. Worst advice show ever. You know what's crazy is that the whole theme of this, and, yeah. and you stated it, it's the worst advice ever. Yep. Because there has to be people that are like, "Are you serious? This is the advice you're gonna give? What the fuck? This is the problem with this and this and that." You know yeah, what I mean? that, that has yeah. First, there's been people who have hit me up being like, uh, "You didn't take this seriously enough." <laughs> like you needed to, you needed to dive deeper into that. I'm like, yeah, well, the the episode before that was a guy whose problem was he hates gum. <laughs> so maybe a little bit of perspective here. You know what I mean? Like, so it's that's why I told you too. I was like, it's like as big or as little as you want. Yeah, it's it's a silly goose time. Do not take me seriously. That's if you're the, taking me seriously, dude, that's like the whole fucking out. point of like. Comedy. And I know yeah. there's people like, no, 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 you got to take certain aspects serious. And like, yeah, sure. But for the most part, like the definition of a joke is that it's like not serious. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, yeah. And some guys, exactly. some guys are serious. Like there's some guys out there that their jokes are like very like bringing light to, to serious issues. Yeah. Right. I think for most of us, it's we're not that. I think you got to be like yeah. super fucking gifted, like like some Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle shit. Yes, right, exactly. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah and most of us are like, dude, we're saying like some goofy shit. Like, yeah, dude, I'm talking about how grapefruits are trash. Yeah, like, like I don't got nothing. Is, <laughs> you don't want to listen to me, bro. The other, okay. the other day I made this joke, which I think I was talking to you about it last time when we were in San Antonio. When I was like, like it's a silly joke that works sometimes. Yeah, it's like, I think. uh like we have it backwards, like we shouldn't be burying people in suits and putting pajamas and blankets on newborn babies. <laughs> That's so good. We should put blankets and pajamas on people that are going to go to their final rest, and newborn babies should be wearing suits because first impressions are everything. That. <laughs> Let's go, dude. But don't like like if I say that, I, like I know there's gonna be somebody that's like. Are you really going to put a suit on a baby? Like, Ugh. obviously fucking not. I'm not going to bury, like, when one of my friends dies, I'm not going to, like, let's put him in blankets. Like, you're, like <laughs> Time to go see P. Yeah, like, come on. Like, it's a fucking <laughs> joke. It's a fucking... It's, like, yeah, and that's... I mean, if you are if you hear that joke and you're not immediately picturing a tiny baby in a, in suit, a little like, suit, then you're doing... You, yeah, <laughs> you're doing it wrong. Like, how... Like, obviously, like, somebody might be like, that's just stupid. Like, obviously, it's yes. stupid. It's a, it's it's just funny to think like oh man this baby's here let's clean off the mucus and then put him a little tie on yeah, like yeah. a little job dumb. interview it's just dumb but it's like I don't know if it gets a laugh it gets a laugh and yeah. that's what it's about exactly I'll tell you what it's not about is being serious yeah there you get go. out of here no seriousness allowed that's why I said cancel me first episode and I meant it I cancel myself boom I'm out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, you can't cancel. I cancel myself. If if somebody says I have to be serious to do comedy, guess what? I'm not going to do comedy. You have to. I don't have to do comedy. You have to take it seriously, but you have to not be serious. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Like, yes. And also, I'm going to give you a warning because that was a good point. So. <laughs> you know, let's, let's slow it back. Slow yeah, it down yeah, on the yeah, points yeah, there. Yeah, but yeah. You will, yeah. I think uh, a lot of the time. What you have to remember as the person making the joke and as a person hearing the joke is you, you always have to remember, what do I know? Yeah. Like, what do I know when you're writing the joke? You have to give off that vibe like, hey, like, I'm saying this with confidence. But at the same time, I have to remember, you have to remember, like, I'm some fucking guy on stage. Like, yeah. I, I'm not running your life. <laughs> yeah, I, dude. I, I could go up there on stage and just be like, "Yeah, man, uh, I don't like the way fucking uh, the president of Nicaragua did that." And you might feel strongly about Nicaragua, but you shouldn't yeah. be like, "You're fucking stupid." And here's why: like, hey, yeah. who am I to you? Yeah. First, ask me my times table. See if I know that. I don't. Therefore, it, sometimes when I want to like argue with somebody that I hear, I, like I hear somebody arguing about some subject, before I jump in it, mm. I remind myself. Something that I don't know. Like, I remind myself, like, especially if it's some shit that sounds like some intellectual shit, right? Oh, God. Yeah. I remind myself that there's like 240 something countries on this planet. Mm. I know like seven of them. I've lived on this planet 24 years. I can't remember more than like seven countries. And there's 240 countries. That's all. I didn't know there was that many. Right. I say too many. 
And that's because I Googled it. I'm like, how many countries are there? <laughs> Damn. That's like how many bones we got in our body, right? Yeah, it's like two something. And it's like, I got arm bone. I got Yeah, I got a leg bone. I got a collar bone. And they're like, no, no, this is a trachea or something. Like, I don't know. Like, I've had this body for 24 years. And I still don't know the inside parts of it. Yeah, sometimes I get surprised by my body on a monthly basis. There'll be something going on. I'm like, what? I don't even know those are fucking part. You go to the doctor and they're like, yeah, that's actually bad for uh, your snuggenitis. And you're like, I didn't even know I had that. I didn't even know that was a thing. What does it do? And they're like, it's just there, but it could cause serious issues. And you're like, what the fuck? Like, It's like, whose team are you on, body? Yeah. Causing a lot of issues. But I remind myself these things before I jump into an argument because it's just like, what the fuck do I know? Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of people anything. forget that they don't know it all. Sounds like a bunch of know-it-alls. Yeah. They think they know it all. Yeah. Turns out, they don't know a goddamn thing, dude. I'm going to take your advice serious, though. I'm going to start a podcast. I'm going to start a... I'm not even going to start a different account. I'm just going to dedicate my account to trolling. I think I'm just going to troll you. That's fine. I'll... <laughs> I mean, well, but I'm untrollable, though. Yeah? I am, yeah. If you've been, like, just Because like... I'm already a silly goose anyway. <laughs> like, like you got you to... Tro- in order to troll, somebody has to be serious. Somebody has... Yeah. Damn, I didn't think about that. Yeah, there has to be. It's like, uh, you know, there's got to be a straight man and another guy. Damn it. I have to troll somebody who cares about something. Yeah. I I don't know, man. I think I got a couple in mind. We'll talk about it after. I want to do it, but at the same time, it's like it has to be somebody who, like, stands for evil. Okay. If you care about something that's easy to make fun of, but it's like. Yeah. Like, like it's good hearted. Like, ah, fuck. I don't know if I could do it. Yeah. Like Elon Musk. He's like. What is he doing? I don't know. What's he up to these First days? thing he did was make a flamethrower. That was pretty cool. I like him. I yeah, it's lie. good. I That's all I him. needed to hear. And yeah. then he was, you know, he, he was on the side of the GameStop, which here's your weekly GameStop update. Still you know, up. You know what's funny, though, is that, like, uh, he has, like, these fucking badass plans, and <laughs> they usually, like, fail on the first try. Oh, but dude. But instead of, instead of, like, just, like, all right, we'll, we'll give you an update <laughs> when it's better, he's just, like... Well, on to the next plan. Like, like I'm sure they're still working on it, but he doesn't talk oh, about it anymore. God. Like, they had that cyber truck. I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, yeah. So here's the thing. It, like, unbreakable glass. And then it breaks, right? And instead of being like, okay, uh, we'll show you when it comes out. And then, we, and then you know, we... Yeah. yeah. Instead of doing that, he's just like, all right, let's just go to space. <laughs> oh, dude, the master audible. Yeah. It's like the Peyton Manning of the fucking of creating shit. That the first time, the first time I ever saw that video, I watched it with no sound. So all it looked like to me was like, here's our new truck. And then there was just some lady with like this rock who's like, fuck this truck. Like, yeah, it's fuck like, this truck. I was like, this, <laughs> this company's heavy metal, dude. <laughs> they brought out this new truck. They were like, oh, we fuck this a, truck. We don't give a fuck. Like, aren't you the lead engineer? He's like, I don't give a shit about anything. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about much. That's why I named my kid a, an equation. An equation. <laughs> dude, get over here, science. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. So there we go. That's your, That's your advice. Uh, and there is a final uh, voicemail, and then we'll get out of here. Uh, here we go. Hello, sexy vegan ladies. Okay. My name is John Sackars. I am a 40-year-old vegan superhero from Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. I have a receding hairline, which is very sexy, because I can put some vegan massage oil on it and then rub my head on your body. I can rub it on your belly and make your tummy feel very good. I also have a removable tooth, which can be very sexy for role-playing. For instance, you might have fantasies of having sex with an athlete, like a hockey player. Okay, John Sakars? This is, yes. He's a real guy? Yes. And he will not stop. Listen, there's, he he thinks it's like like a, a forum for getting his dating out there. And John. he's he's very vegan. He wants to make that clear. I th- vegan massage oil? Who, who, is he, who is he? Where did you meet him or what? Like, what's the... He just listens to the pod. Yeah. In pod, in, and, uh, he, and he lives Canada. in Canada? Yeah. Yo, shout out to John. John Sakars. Yeah, shout out to that guy. Um, but, but, buddy. Dude, I'm a... Did you get made fun of a lot for your last name? Because I feel like he got made fun of so, lo- so, so much for being Sakars that he was just like, 
oh, I got to go vegan to take attention off the sock cars thing. That's true. You got to do something. I got to take my tooth out, but like put it back in. <laughs> like, oh, I, also, how Canadian was that? He's like, if you want to date an athlete, like a hockey player, <laughs> like, like they are great athletes. Like, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Uh, also, you just go straight for the hockey. Number one guys I don't want smoke with is hockey guys. Yeah, no, you, that's true. The way the, the ease with which they fight. Yeah. Have you ever like heard it, a hockey guy mic'd up? No. Nah. Well, it'll, they'll be like at the face off. They'll be like, hey, so I guess you got, I'm going to fight you right now. <laughs> he's like, the other guy's like, okay. Like right now? He's like, yeah, right now. And he's like, okay. It. And they just fight each other <laughs> right there. And then they walk up. They're like, hey, good stuff. Damn, hockey's badass. Yeah, it's great. Dude, the, the hockey refs. Hockey refs mic'd up is crazy. They talk like, brazy. Fighting is badass. Fighting is badass. Facts. Fighting when Big it's facts. not your job to fight is even more badass. Oh, dude, yeah. My job oh. is to hit, hit a puck, but I'm going to hit you, and it's like, fuck, yeah. I'm hitting everything moving. Fucking you want to come guys. over here, dude? And I'm going to be cordial about it. It doesn't work the other way around. Like, you can't be a UFC fighter and then all of a sudden <laughs> try to hit a hockey puck. They're going to be like, true, what dude. are you doing? Get back to work. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shut up and punch. Yeah. Right? But in hockey, it's like, oh, hold on. The, the game got stopped. They started fighting. You're just like, fuck, yeah. It's like, oh, I guess we got to do this, huh? Yeah, <laughs> sure, Hoser. After this, we'll get drunk, get a fucking 2-4. Hell, yeah. You know, two four is a twenty four pack. They get a lot, a lot of booze out there. Two four, oh, yeah. a fucking two four fuck. Weed is legal over there, right? Yeah, probably. Just, like smoke some weed, drink some beer, fucking fight. It seems like they get it. Canada. Canada is like Dallas, just free for all. Get high, get drunk, fight. There you go. Except the vegan part. Well, yeah. If that's your bag, then whatever. But John, uh, we got it, buddy. You're banned. No, send first send, band. Send more. <laughs> no, no, no. You send send more, the things John. that goes. John, you're banned. Please, please. Also, I want to give a shout out before I get out of here to the Ukraine. Apparently, there's a group of people who listen in the Ukraine. I just got the analytics. Shout out Ukraine. Just hell yeah. Can you give a shout out where you're not yawning to the Ukraine, please? Oh, shout out Ukraine. <laughs> and you know that they would love the thumbs up. I feel thumbs up. Yeah. I didn't mean to yawn. I'm sorry. I've been I've been driving a lot of hours. Did. You did. You have. Let's get you out of here, huh? Yeah, I got to go. Thanks for coming, show. buddy. Let's get you. Let's get you Yo. some gear. Dude, Ralph Barbosa, everybody, follow him on Peace his out. and his troll account. Oh, follow my Instagram. I won't troll you unless you do something like really out there. Yeah, uh, my Instagram is Sweet Baby Ralph with an underscore at the end. There you go. Yeah, very Ralph funny Barbosa. guy. Also, thank the you. best. All right, let's Thanks get out of here. Having me, man. Bye. Hey baby, I hear the blues are calling Toss salads and scrambled eggs And maybe I seem a bit confused Yeah baby, but I got you pegged but I don't know what to do with those soft salads and scrambled eggs. They're calling again. Scrambled eggs all over my face. What is a boy to do? Now let me see your fire understand you. The problem I see you say.